Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here once again at Aragorn's Pavilion with a whole bunch of quests to do. We've got one, two, three, four, five technically, and then we have a sixth, which is going to be uh, the actual book seven, chapter three, when we eventually get around to it. Um, because I'm... I don't think it will, but I'm just worried about these quests not being available after a certain point. So I wanted to mainly focus on these for the moment. Um, we are going to eventually, obviously, go and complete the epic quest, but I just want to make sure these are done. Also, it's a really easy way for us to get quite a lot of XP and just get everybody back here, which I think then leads to more quests being available, probably, because... We have more people. Didn't mean to press space there. Before we start, we do have our Hobbit gift of the day. Obviously, let's have a quick look at what that one's going to be. A 10% run speed boost for 90 minutes. Three of them. Not honestly the, uh, the greatest thing in the world. On here, though, we have uh, some things to do. We have uh, a large one, the Valiant, uh, Rohirrim, Elfmar, Harding, and Torferth. Elfhelm Silk uh, Secret. Which he is in Minas Tirith right there. And testing the defenses is just down there. So we're going to make our way up to this area. Down. Through here. Complete this one. And then do that one I think. And then we'll just hand them all in together. Except I found Grimbold. So I mean, you know. I guess we probably can do these while we're here. Because we're going to be finding these guys. So Grimbold heroically attack. Heroically attack to fell beast in his final moments. Right. Elfmar. Elfmar died valiantly. Okay. Not as much of a descriptive end, but sure, we'll deal with it. So, still heading up north. I'm not focusing on finding the ones that are around here for the moment. I'll do that when I come back through. I just want to uh, find who I can find, basically. That made no sense, but you know what I meant. Sort of. Right, Torferth. We'll dismount because I want to defeat this stupid thing. Because uh, we don't like sickle flies, they're annoying. We just don't like enemies in general chasing after us. Because it just slows us down. Alright. So we found you. So Torfeth gave his life for Rohan and Gondor. Now these guys aren't as huge a, uh, a deal for following us because, you know, they just make our accuracy go down a little bit and eventually they just give up. But they don't actually, you know, take our... Run speed boost, because as soon as we're in combat, obviously, we lose this, uh, the 30%. Ah, oh, yes, I'm glad to, okay, I was about to say, I'm glad to see at least three people alive, but it seems possibly not. Herifara was slain by Gothmog's orcs. Herobrand was slain by Gothmog's orcs. What do you know of this Aragorn? I do. I'm well aware of him. <laughs> Signed by Fowlox, I'm hurt, my ankle twisted. I can walk, but do not have the strength to carry my friends any further. I did not want to leave that side, nor the not with orcs roaming around. Thank you for coming and helping finish this task I set out to accomplish. So he'll head back to there, and that is us completed in this little area. Now we'll uh, just make our way down here. We'll uh, we'll go around the back. Just make it easier for us, but we'll go complete these, jump back on there, see what uh, the soldier at the sparring area wants us to do, and then go talk to Elfman. Oh, we also have to go all the way down there, so I guess we'll complete these two if we see them as we go past, but we'll focus on this one, and as I said, complete these two if we need to go past them and see them. If not, we'll come back, then do that, and then do that. I think that is probably the best way of doing it, I think, or at least... Possibly the most efficient. Probably not, though. Knowing the way I think about things. So, they're probably all in there. So, yeah, if we if we see a quest ring, I'll go to it. But I'm not going to stop and go over yet. Because I think we're already past it, almost. Oh, that is... I mean, not, not great. Can we see anybody from here? I think that's probably one of them. Possibly. Oh. Right, so who do we think this is going to be? It could be... I uh, no, I was about to say it could be all three of them, but no, there's two spots in there. I think this might... 
You know, I think Guflaf was probably up here. I think it might be done done here or Harry or however you're supposed to say it. Hmm. I guess we shall see when we get here, which isn't too far remaining. I kind of wish it allowed us to do all these quests in one go. I feel like it would have been easier. <laughs> let's let's running around. Oh, this is where we made the like final stand. So, yeah. Okay, I was right. You can kind of guess when you know the area. It's felt by arrows at Riders Stand. It's like if I know it's over here, I think around here was where um Derefin uh Derefin? No. Derefin's father, isn't it? But the the twins, the black root or whatever they were. The black root veil. Vale. Those guys, you you seem very happy. This place is <laughs> untouched by <laughs> battle right here. It's all nice and green and you know, well kept. Let's not run straight into enemies. That would be a terrible idea. Let's not do that today. And that seemed a lot quicker coming back than it did on the way over. I guess we had to travel further. We had to go all the way up here down there, didn't we? That'll be why it felt like it's so different. Okay, found one. Aldor Harding. Aldor of Eastermanet Reeve of the World. I read it as well at first. I was like, that's a, that's a lot of power for someone to have. All right, let's get back on our steed. Oh, I see one already. Oh, I see both already. Let's just go do that now. He's moving in his portrait. He must be alive. That's how that works, right? Died protecting King Theoden. And then Guflaf protecting, died protecting King Theoden. Okay, now you are here. We want to talk to you. When the time comes to fight, we'll be ready. Okay, we're going to test your new armor. Don't want to hurt you too much, but... Okay, this armor is quite sturdy. Only took me a few seconds to defeat you. But it's fine, I'm a little bit... We can only hope that the Rohirrim will little bit OP. Too late. And a little bit over-leveled for you guys, so... I'll, I'll let you guys, uh... Feel good. Is this to like the enemies of men approach? Is this to make I them you are prepared. In an effort to improve their skills and test their armor. Okay, that's so that's from Angbor, that's um from when we went and you know, mined that stuff. That very quick smithing that he's done. But it also I think would give a bit more hope. To them because they'll be like, oh, my armor is like a lot better than it was. Like, we can win this. Aid the horse lords. Okay, that young recruit has just disappeared. He said something about Morgul Blade, and I didn't actually read it. Let's spar and see how this. Or was he just saying, do you think it can go up against a Morgul Blade? That's probably what it was. Not, I have a Morgul Blade. Let's see how, how you deal with it. Right, and that is three quests ready to complete. I think it's probably best we just complete those here now, then head over to um, Elfhelm. Otherwise, we're just going back on ourselves. Uh, what else have you got? Forging blades. We're going to be here a while, aren't we? Forge blades. Gather supplies. And repair chests, boots, and helms. I mean, these, I'm thinking, are just in this area, so that'll be a very easy one. And all, in the end, it is all for a really nice amount of XP, 138k, all from these. So, very close to level 111, which I said is one of the better levels, because, I mean, you know what we get at level 111. It's a sad day, many of the finest warriors I know in Slain. I take heart, however, in that they live on their, in their descendants, and their heroic deeds may both go on for many generations to come. And then Nothmar, who is over here. Believe what you will, but this Aragorn is no Theoden. Well, that's a bit dismissive. The dead and missing we sought are all accounted for. Okay, so everybody that we couldn't account for are found, either alive or dead. 
Let's pick up this. That's actually quite a nice ma uh, increase in mag morale. Obviously, uh, our vitality does a better job than that at the moment, and uh, the agility is still higher. But, uh, you know, still quite a nice amount to have. Let's go quickly get rid of something here. We'll get rid of these run speed boosts as well, because I don't really care too much for those. Now is the time to mourn those who fought to the end. Okay, that's a solo instance. Maybe we'll end with that today, but I do quickly want to get on with this stuff. Um, but that is a solo instance. You should talk to Aragorn, you can be found in the pavilion on the after battle panel. Uh, Aragorn has decreed that everybody shall break for the reminder, remainder of the day to mourn those lives lost in the Battle of Pelennor Fields. So... I feel like that's a perfect thing to end on, you know, if we're, if it's, it's his decree, basically, that we're taking a break from uh, the rest of the day, just to mourn, then if we do that at the end, I feel like that's perfect. Right. Are we also, do we have to go to the forge to do these? I was going to say these are going to be quite quick, so we can probably do that now. Just, just click you a lot. As soon as it's done, click it again. And if this gives us 138k, this is the easiest 138k ever. And again, very, very close to leveling. And we need to cool the blades in here, because right now we're just, I guess, carrying them. You know, boiling hot. I would have thought it would make us do one, then cool it, one, then cool it, one, then cool it, one, then cool it, one, then cool it. One, then cool it. But, uh, I guess not. We'll just hold on to the burning blades for the moment. And then it's probably going to be like, issue them out. Oh, no. Uh, in what barrel? Oh, empty barrel. I see it. I see it. It was hidden. All right. That was an easy one. Now just to run around, repair everything still. We still gotta go talk to uh, Elfhelm as well. There's still something that needs to be done, so. It's uh Oh damn it, there's a milestone right there and it's making it really awkward to use delete to find everything. Alright, two out of four, three out of four. Then I think it'll probably be the other side of the pavilion or like just over there but we'll zoom out and keep an eye out just in case I mean it seems like that is the like where stuff is made area like the, the you know I guess not there are bits and boots so I was gonna say this kind of seems like the encampment area and that, that kind of seems like the um you know making area like you know, supplies and stuff. So I just assumed there will be no helmets. But it does make sense there are, because obviously the soldiers would have their equipment with them. And we're just repairing those. Right. So, two more boots. So, these and those. One more helmet. And then after that, one more chest piece, which is right to the side of me. And one more supplies as well. It's a lot of uh, just running around this little area. But it's all just to help in the days to come. Right, Angbor over here. Oh, you want us to fill crates as well. I was going to say, I swear there was three quests, not just two. Now, where are these crates? Are they out the front? Or right over here? is kind of out the front a little bit. Yeah, so these are a crate it's ready for as much supplies from the march on the black gate. So basically just preparing for that, which again, I feel like that's a worthy cause. And we're also getting these nice uh, reputation increases for the host of the West and also some host of the West silver pieces. Which I'm sure will be useful at some point to us. So there we are for us. Uh, we are now known. Or no, are we? What are we now? Reputation. Um, oh, it's really annoying having a lot of these. So uh, known to the host of the West. There we are. And then we need to now get friend for the host of the West. And uh, you know, obviously we get 
some vendors accounts and everything for that as well which is kind of nice so eventually we will get there obviously though it's going to be a while right now reputation wise uh, host the west at the top we are acquaintance and uh yeah we are obviously you know we just we got about 17k reputation to go right there one more quest to do see where that takes us and then we'll head back to aragorn can i just quickly get a stable master over there that Gondor might be easier yeah swift travel over there it would just be quicker i think and uh easier for me even if i am spending about 100 silver and uh then we will come back well complete whatever he wants us to do then come back and talk to aragorn to mourn for the rest of the day i did also realize there is a few quests over there uh to do Right there, we have some from, I think, Imre Hill and stuff. Um, I don't think... I'll maybe have a look at them, but I don't think right now they are too worth focusing on, like, as we are focusing on these. Um, but, I mean, maybe we'll have a look at them quickly and just see what they have available to us, and then maybe we will have a little bit of a look. Right. Old guest house. Right. Elfhelm motions you to come closer as you approach. My friend, I have an important task for you. Okay. You know that Lady Eowyn was on the battlefield and now she rests, recovering in the House of Healing. I am in need of a sword. Yes, the sword which she fought and killed the Witch King. Still remains somewhere on Pelennor. I've searched and searched for the sword but couldn't find it. Could not have strayed far from the spot where the Witch King was slain. The sword was broken in combat so I'm certain no one will look to wield it in battle. I hope you may find... Uh, I'm hoping you might succeed where I could not. Okay. Right, so, looks uh, really weird. It like, looks dirtier, the map, when you're in this area. He wants us to go and have a look in the fields of Pelennor, right behind the pavilion, of course. Um, I guess what we can do quickly is, I know I took the Stable Master over here, but for now, uh, I'm going to walk past these guys, have a look at their quests qu quickly. Maybe accept them, but maybe probably not focus on them today. It's only, actually only two people. You're just stood there. But there are multiple quests, so I'll accept these, but I don't think we will worry about them for the moment. These are repeatable quests as well, it seems. So they are not actually something I want to worry about too much. In fact, I will actually cancel the quests if they are repeatable for the moment. We'll focus on them at some other point, but I, I don't think I am going to worry myself about um, repeatable quests because... They're not going to go away. Why would they be repeatable if you couldn't do them multiple times? Like, if they're going to disappear after five seconds, or, or, you know, the next quest or two, um, then why would they be repeatable? Why wouldn't you just have them as a, a one-off like all these other quests are? So, not going to worry about it. I, uh, I'm just going to focus on what I've got on my tracker right now. So... We should, if I don't run into everything, be able to get around here and have a little search for this sword. So this is where I think Theoden is, uh, is this Theoden's, um, like, grave. But we're looking for where the Witch King fell, which I'm kind of... I mean, I could I could just do that, and I mean that's it's kind of cheating, but that's also really far away. Oh, and so I mean I would have been able to see the the glowing and the the name, but I wouldn't have thought to look there yet. Is indeed the hilt of the sword Eowyn used when slaying the Witch King. Right then, back to Minas Tirith we go to talk to Elfhelm. In fact, this time I'm just going to skip straight there. So I'll see you when we're talking to Elfhelm. Hopefully that'll be all he needs. And then we'll come back and mourn. Elfhelm, I have you the hilt me. for you. What good fortune. Yes. What he says, tis no ordinary sword. Um, it definitely is not. Especially after beheading the Witch King, basically. Well, no, he, uh, she, she beheaded the monster, the fell beast, but more stabbed him in the face, um, if he had one. Right, now it wants to talk to Aema. That's a quick and easy one. That's where we'll see who we got the quest from. I'm not sure if he's going to have another quest for us, but I think either way, uh, depending on what the quest is, though, I'll have a look at what it is if he's got one, but 
we'll probably, unless it's very easy and quick, go and do Morning of the Dead and then focus on that next time. So, I guess I'll see you back in the camp. Oh, I'm doing a lot of running around today. Hey, Emma. Let's finish your quest. Uh, find, uh, uh, travel to Path Gladlo to search for Haradrim. Okay, so where is that going to take us? We have now completed, and it's still not working properly. Uh, we have to go over here. We have completed quests of the Pelennor deed. Okay, so it seems almost like minus the repeatable quest, there was a perfect amount for us other than quickly finishing Morning the Dead, which allows us to, I guess, not complete one quest. Um, so, other than that, we do have uh, North Elithians, a Roaming Enemies Deed, uh, complete quests of Osgiliath and Crossroads, and complete quests of North Elithian, or Ithilian, sorry. Um, interestingly, we've got the, yeah, the Roaming Enemies one. I don't know if that is uh, Roving Threats. No, that would be Roving Threats. Uh, I guess maybe Warbands. That could possibly be. And then we also have the, uh, the I think it was ten, no, six, um... Haradrim supplies we've got to complete. So that's actually, you know, we got honor, honor, honor for that, and also uh, a nice title and some reputation. So it is worth keeping an eye out for 900 rep. Other than that, though, that is us pretty much done. We can take that deed off our tracker. The worlds are going to come down in 60 minutes, but that is no, me uh, yeah, no problem for us. That's up there. We're going to focus on that some other time. For now, though, we'll take that off our tracker. And we'll head in and uh, come. It is time. Get ready to mourn for the rest of the day. After much bloodshed and loss, I have asked everyone gathered at my pavilion to rest and mourn the deaths of our brethren. Okay, so Aima. Bestow the honor onto you to light the pyre. Okay, thank you very much. I guess. Um, so let's pick this up. And we're gonna light, light the pyre.
Okay, I think that is us ready to uh, to finish, I think. Mourn the loss of your fellow warriors. Emma motions that he wishes to speak to you. Okay. I would like to honor Snowmane. Come. Steve the King lives March up to the spot where he died and have buried him. Oh, is that where that is? I thought that might have been a um Theoden. Makes more sense now that the horse is up there. Pick up the stone for Snowmane's can. Place the stone on the can for Snowmane. The grave shall be known as Snowman's how forevermore. Remain alert while Emma speaks. Oh, okay. Let's stay looking around. Everywhere around here. I must go to this city to pay my respects to Theoden King. I'd visit Join. my uncle where he lies in state and pay my respects to him. Enter the uh, tower. With Emma. Come, Theoden rests near the throne. We're also going to mourn for Theoden before talking to Emma once again. It's been a long night. It's a heavy burden. I hope to live up to my uncle's example, but it will not be easy. Still, I'll do the, my best for the people of Rohan. Let us finish and head back to speak to Aragorn. Some rest before we march. Okay, with everybody still loading in, I think there we are. Let us go talk to Aragorn. And finish up this quest. We have a lot going into our inventory from this one. So I'm going to get rid of these legendary items that we do not need. We only should have two items. But I, keep, I think this needs to go into my inventory first. And then go into my wallet. We get a vial of amber extract. Which I think is also yep, a barter item. So that will also go. But for a second you'll see it takes up the two slots. Now it wants us to search for rangers. In Osgiliath, but first I think we will focus on the epic quest, but in the next episode uh, That is where that will happen uh, Where is this actually? This is actually not in Pelennor anymore. It's part of Osgiliath uh, After battle which means that is gonna work towards that deed that we also have to complete But we will focus on this finally uh, Getting some soldiers to pledge to Aragorn in the area close to us. Uh, we might possibly go up there as well uh, but I think we'll do this, you know, some epic quests, and then focus on Osgiliath, which I think is we, we're going to get pushed there anyway. There's a whole camp there, which is where the rangers are, I guess. And then uh, we've got to go through our only way to get to the uh, the wastes and stuff like that. So um, definitely the direction we're going to go. But for now, um, I think he said we're taking the night off for morning. We've already done that, but... Uh, that's going to be it for now. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.